how to find the cube root of decimal numbers so when you want to find the cube root of this decimal numbers the first step is just to convert the given decimal number into fractional number and then you can find the cube root okay say for example what is the cube root of 0.027 so given decimal number convert into the fractional so cube root of 0.027 is 27 by 1000 so after point three decimal places so 27 by 1000 is 0 0.027 now same how we did in the previous topic we will continue as this so cube root of 27 divided by cube root of 1000 and 27 and 1000 you can find the cube root so 27 is prime factorization is 3 9 so 27 3 3 is a 9 and 3 1 so that is 3 for this above next to 1000 1000 is already 3 zeros now you can use even 10 10 hundreds 10 10 so again 10 1 so 10 it is so if you don't know directly you can do extra one more step same 10,000 uh, 1000 if you take first prime number is 2 right so 2 5 hundreds 2 uh, 250 is so a 500 again 2 table so 125 now 525 is so a 125 5 times 5 5 ones are 5 same answer will come so instead of this 2 1 2 instead of this 3 1 5 2 into 5 is 10 right both methods are same answer is correct now 3 by 10 so 3 by 10 is 0 0.3 right so cube root of 0 0.027 is 0 0.3 now same way one more example cube root of 0 0.008 convert the given decimal number into fraction cube root of 8 by check it is number of decimals 1 2 3 so it's a cube root of 8 divided by cube root of 1000 cube root of 8 is 2 and cube root of 1000 is just we did that is 10 so 2 by 10 so 0 0.2 it is cube root of decimal number you can answer also write in decimal number only. don't cancel this 1 by 5 1 by 5 do division again 0 0.2 you will get but always cube root of decimal number right answer is also in decimals okay cube root of uh, 0 0.125 is the question so how to convert cube root of 0 0.125 that is 125 by 1000 cube root of 125 by cube root of 1000 then get the answer answer is cube root of 125 is 5 125 so we did previous no and 1000 is 10 so 0 0.5 cube root of 0 0.125 is 0 0.5 now right so this is the finding cube root of decimal numbers by converting decimal number into fractional number and then we'll proceed the same method as we did previous okay this is the topics from the cube roots cubes and cube roots main thing is prime factorization concept you should know and this basic uh, properties what to use in this Similarly, you can go through the other chapters one by one, providing the links in description below. So to continue, uh, follow the one by one to chapters to preparation is to subscribe the channel if you are new watching. You can proceed the topics one by one and you can get it.